mayong hapon. Anyan ang butuan on news update sa Adlaw Humbutuan Special Coverage. Tungod sa hulga sa COVID-19 transmission o tungod sa magipailawam sa general community quarantine with heightened restrictions, ang dakbayan sa butuan na himong simple lang ang selebrasyon sa kasitentay uno ng Charter Day sa syudad. O sa ka-online nga Thanksgiving o wreath laying sa lubnganan sa founding father sa syudad nga si Anhing Congressman Marcos Calo ang ipahigayon. Gawas ni Ini, ipahibalusab ni Mayor Ronnie Vicente Lagnada ang konteksto o mga hagit nga nasinati sa itong dakbayan o giun sa kinipag-manage. Sa iyang address, ipresenta ni Ini ang mga strategic initiatives nga gihimu o gihimuunan pa sa syudad aron masiguro nga makabot ang mga plano o mga damgo para sa syudad sa Butuan. Ang Mayor's City Address ni Butuan City Mayor Ronnie Vicente Lagnada atong tanawon. Mga soon ko and my fellow Butuanons, Uh, this is our uh, second year of commemorating our city's Charter Day. Uh, wala git kita magkakita or face-to-face -face magkita. But I still take this opportunity to greet all of you uh, on this uh, historic milestone and report to you about our city's context and challenges. Kung yun sa nato, pagmaniubra ang atong mga inisyatibo para masiguro nato nga makabot ang atong mga plano o atong mga damgo para sa atong pinalanggang dakbayan. Sa miaging tuig, uh, naundang ang tanahan nato nga naandan ng mga buluhaton tungod sa pandemya nga mihulga sa tibuok kalibutan. Not only was our economy was put to halt, Mikalas o kini o daghan ng mga kinabuhi. Sakit man, hunaunaon, apan uh, kinahanglan nato nga ito bangon kining pinakadako na hagit nga miabot ka nato. In order for me to properly convey the current state of our city, I would like to contextualize what we have gone through with the pandemic and what we have strategically done to address the various challenges and plans we have put in place. When the COVID-19 pandemic shocked the world in the first quarter of 2020, we made sure that we would be prepared for the inevitable and the unforeseen. We properly planned and focused on the following aspect, prevention, early detection, proper treatment, and attaining immunity. Kauban ang sanggunin ang panglungsod, we were able to come out with at least 150 policy issuances to aid us in addressing the prevention side by controlling the movement of our people as well as putting in place minimum health protocols to be observed by the people. Sa pagsugod pa lang, daghan ang nisupat, pero we were able to manage the spread of the virus o naprotektahan ang katawahan. One of the biggest challenges of the pandemic was to detect the extent of the virus at its early stage. Sa sugod pa lang, we decided to put up our own molecular laboratory. It's one of the first in Caraga region. It enabled us to get a faster turnaround time of the results within 12 to 24 hours. Napagani o saane, maski within an hour, kaya naman tayo ka ng gaingnon nga gen expert, within an hour we can also detect na the results. Tungod ni ini, nakita dayo na to ang tinuod nga hulagway o pila kabuok yun ang nataktan sa baong virus. Nahimokini na to, nabasihan aron mas dali na to, ma-isolate, matutukan o maatiman ang mga nagpositibo sa COVID-19. Sa kakulangon sa atong pasilidad o resources, we innovated our approach in our isolation and treatment method 
by establishing at least five quarantine facilities which included evacuation centers, schools, and hotels. We have also established a 50-bed capacity COVID-19 ward facility fully equipped with HEPA filters and 60 units of high-flow non-invasive mechanical ventilators at the Butuan Medical Center. Uguban pa kini ng mga pasilidad ng atong gidugang para kani makasuporta sa atong pagsugpo ani ng virus. This made our efforts of isolating and treatment those suspects, probable and confirmed cases more manageable. In moving forward, kinahanglan nato makabot ang ilan nga gigingon nga herd immunity ato dayon gisugdan ang massive vaccination rollout as soon as the vaccines became available by activating the local vaccination operation center or LVOC. Sa pagkakaroon, uh, we were able to vaccinate around 42,000 or roughly 11% of the entire population with the current vaccination facilities and manpower complement. We can vaccinate an average of around, I think, uh, 2,400 per day. Kung naay available ng mga bakuna, sigurado na to makabot ang 70% herd immunity. Siguro by the end of the year. Kung pwede pa gani, 100% kung kaya. So, dakong pasalamat na to sa suporta sa atong national government and private sector's partner. Economic reintegration is equally important to be able to live in the new normal. Mo na kanay mga igsoon gagaing no nato nga new normal. As part of the boosting economic confidence, we develop the safety seal concept for in establishment and institutions are given a seal of recognition for having complied with the standard health protocols. As we prepare for the possible surge caused by the new Delta variant, rest assured that your local government is committed to make our city safer and more resilient. Our local economy suffered deep recession as many of our micro, small and medium enterprises or in gaing non nga SMEs and tourism related establishment temporarily shut operation daghay na apektuhan mga kaigsuonan ko nevertheless the agriculture sector remains strong and resilient gipaniguro nato nga aduna kitay igo nga supply sa pagkaon alang sa atong katawhan in collaboration with all government partners we have provided enough seeds, fertilizers, farm machineries, and crop insurance that lowered production costs, increased farmers' income, and made farm products affordable. This helped the cities achieve 100% rice self-sufficiency by 2020. Takong salamat sa atong mga development partners o kugihan ng mga mag sa ilang mga agi o intaon sa ilang pagsakripisyo. While we have slowly opened up our economic activities, a number of health protocol compliant shops, restaurants, and malls have steadily increased their sales. To accelerate economic recovery, ang Dakbayan sa Siyudad has allocated around 100 million para sa atong daingnon nga stimulus package aron matabangan ang atong mga SMEs or mga gagmay nga mga negosyante. We also included in our master plan our proposed economic zones such as the Tagibo Agro Industrial Economic Zone, the Bansa Wood-Based Economic Zone, and the Masao Logistical Service Zone adjacent sa the proposed Masao International Port. These special economic zones are expected to provide numerous economic and livelihood opportunities not only for Butuan City but also for Karaga region.
Amidst the onslaught of COVID-19, the city government is able to continually deliver its core social services. Kung kinsa ang dako o kakulangon sa paningabuhian, mo ay atong siguroon ng matagaan o igo ng ayuda o tabang. We have sustained our services to the needy and the vulnerable sectors through the following. Bisan sa pagsulod sa pandemya, atong ipadayon ang mga plano sa atong infrastruktura. Nagto kita nga maukini ang pundasyon sa atong dakbayan aron maandam ang atong gitinguha nga kalambuan. The city's infrastructure development program is geared towards inclusive growth and poverty reduction. It supports the performance of the city's economic sectors, equitable access to infrastructure services, affects the people's health, education, and housing. To date, the city government has accelerated the provision of safe, disaster-resilient, cost-effective, and sustainable infrastructure such as The ongoing construction of the Butuan City Agusan del Norte Logistical Highway will provide alternative route that is expected to decongest the traffic volume along the National Highway while boosting the regional trade and commerce as it connects potential economic growth areas. To support our governance initiatives for fiscal management and promote transparency, the local government of Butuan engaged the services of SGB Ernst and Young. We are one of the, I think, the one of the kundilang pioneer, basig kita pa ang nakauna ani ng mga sudan para makapasitate ang atong internal control system. As part of the Smart City Initiative. A core network infrastructure system project was launched to enhance the current interconnectivity and data management throughout the city government's premises and field offices. This project will rehabilitate and build up the ICT infrastructure such as data centers, operations and monitoring center, network infrastructures, with the latest data communication standards. The city government of Butuan will make the pre-registration of COVID-19 vaccinations more accessible to the public. We have created an online pre-registration system enabling the public to register via internet. We are embarking on quality management system through ISO certification, we could assimilate the organizational culture of efficiency and accountability in public governance. We are also embarking on a partial reorganization in preparation for the rationalization plan of the LGU. Rationalizing our human resource will improve agility in delivering the strategic initiatives and in proactively responding to the emerging challenges and devolution demands. We are nearly complete with our comprehensive land use plan, a planning document to strategically rationalize the allocation and proper use of our land resources. It will guide us in identifying public and private land uses in accordance with the city's future 
Special Organization of Economic and Social Activities that will truly benefit our constituents. This should complement with our sectoral development plans of the city such as the CDP, the FLUP, the CAFDP, and the Energy Development Plan. A steadfast and dynamic partnership with the Sangguniang Panglosod is essential in the delivery of basic services and the realization of established developmental goals. Since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic last year, the 14th Sangguniam Panglonsod, through the leadership of Vice Mayor Jobo Aquino, has enacted ordinances that respond robustly to the needs of the city during these most difficult times. In sum, 38 city ordinances were legislated to guarantee service delivery excellence, promote public health, and widen economic opportunities. Juan is lucky to have a solid partner in Congress in the person of Congressman Lawrence Lau Fortud. Through his effort, he was able to file major legislation which provided boost to our tourism, environment, educational, and economic agenda. Some of these legislations are the following. Through the efforts of Congressman Lau Fortun, we were able to pluck a big chunk of national budget to support our local social and infrastructure activities. And for this, we earnestly thank Congressman Lau Fortun for his steadfast commitment to the city of Butuan. We have also updated the schedule of market value to align with the rapid socio-economic growth of Botuan while conforming with the modern construction technologies happening in our city to cushion the possible increase in our real property tax. The local government strategically implemented a staggered scheme of 10% increase in the market value starting 2020 and reducing the tax rates down to 10 to 15 percent. The LGU developed digitized tax mapping to improve collection efficiency. Our business processing was also dramatically reduced from the previous two to three days to only 30 minutes through the implementation of the business one-stop shop. We are also in the transition stage for the implementation of our tricycle route plan to conform with more comprehensive and people-centered local transportation public route plan. Despite many challenges, we managed to progress as a result of our strong governance and institutional fundamentals. Our prudent use of resources places the LGU in the position to make investments to generate economic activities, provide public goods and services, as well as fund social programs, all aimed at reducing poverty and creating opportunities for everyone. Number one, as a gateway in the northeastern part of Mindanao, we shall pursue modernization and expansion of the Masao Logistical Port as an entry exit point. The development of Masao International Seaport, which shall complement the existing Nasipit Port, Lipata and Surigao Ports, or even Cagayan de Oro Ports, is now on its final stage of full feasibility study 
and ready to embark on the social preparation and land acquisition. Number two, to better utilize and enhance the city's waterfront, the city government is now ready to construct the marina facility or the river park, which uh, will provide additional tourism and recreation facilities in the Agusan River and positively impacting our local economy and tourism industry. Number three, we will now develop the Democrity O Plaza Regional Government Center and the Polisport Complex in Barangay Tinibisan to accommodate the regional government offices. This will bring the public services of these regional offices under one easily accessible place. Number four, for an integrated and unified response, we are locating all attached government agencies for disaster preparedness and response, including police and fire stations adjacent to the Butuan Command Center site. Number five, we will also enhance the capacity of our local agri-producers to engage into commercial and agribusinesses. For that, we are now finalizing the construction of our South Butuan Market. This will decongest the North Butuan Market or La Lalangihan Market as we facilitate its future rehabilitation. It will also improve the delivery of farm inputs and allow easy transport of farm produce of the southern part of Butuan. We will also establish a vegetable packing hub and cold storage facility in that area to improve agriculture value chain. Number six, Butuan City will become one of the next wave cities in the country by creating and developing ICT hubs for information technology, business passes, outsourcing or ITBPO investments. We are developing our Butuan Business IT Park, which is expected to employ significant number of workers in a knowledge-based economy. Number seven, garbage management is even a greater problem during the pandemic. Our volume of generated solid waste has increased by 25%. Our city is upgrading our Butuan Sanitary Landfill to meet this increased volume. The plus two are the following. Number eight, we are innovating our vegetable sector. The iADAPT is an exciting innovation. Recognized as one of the Bloomberg's champion entries in the Global Mayor's Challenge. This project will enable a more secure livelihood for our farmers and other value chain players. We are excited about this project that is now on the final stage of prototyping and testing on time for the Bloomberg's finals on October 2021. Number nine, all of these strategic plans are part of an inclusive and participatory planning process to ensure that no one is left behind in all of our development efforts. For the first time, Butuan has engaged in a mutual development cooperation with the international cities like Toyama City of Japan, the Kaohsiung City of Taiwan, or even Taipei, to strategically realign our growth trajectories onto a more sustainable, smart, resilient, and inclusive growth. It is the fact that more than ever, we should thrive as one. No single person, no superhero can solve the magnitude 
and breadth of the challenges we are facing now. Political season na ba doon? Ang iban gusto na makapuntos ya unsab sigira atake or bisan unsa lang ang gahimuon karon nga panahon daghan na ang gapasalig og maglinabod nga sila ang makasulbad sa problema sa atong siyudad i have deliberately not dignified such garbage engaging in political campaign does not help Let our governance be our politics. Let our continued efforts to improve be our testament. What does it mean to be a Botuanon in times like these? What are the values that unite us? Let us not lose sight in our vision and our destination. The pandemic has not and will not change our destiny o balagsik na dakbayan. As a people, we have weathered so much storms throughout the decades. Amidst all of this, we remain firm in our vision. We are a resilient people. We are unbound. We shall persevere. We shall thrive together as one people, one but one. Mag-iusa kita. Mas dako kita kaysa aning pandimya. Mas ligong kita kaysa unsa man nga hagit kay ngan si butuanon kita. Ugmaw ka to ang Adla Humbutuan special coverage. Alang sa pa mga updates, i-follow, gilike ang official Facebook page, Twitter o Instagram account sa Butuan City Public Information Office. Ako si Charmaine Awitan, ugmalipayong Adla Humbutuan.